On this week's Low Car Car Show, we're in Waxahachie, Texas for the fourth annual C-10s in the Park, the largest C-10 gathering in the South. This event started as an humble get-together for a group of friends and today has grown into a huge event featuring hundreds of 1947 to 87 Chevrolet pickups. Gregory Taylor let his wife choose the color combination for their 1969 Chevrolet restoration. My wife and I built this truck. Uh, took us about a year and a half. We have a LS1 motor in it with a 4L60 transmission. We uh, lowered it three inches in the front, four in the back. We uh, shortened the frame to make it a short bed. The uh, paint and color combination is mainly my wife's idea. We did leather interior with a backup camera, uh, stereo, the whole works. We have a LS1 engine out of a 2002 Camaro. And it's a 4L60 transmission and uh, 373 gears in the rear end. This thing just goes. I just enjoy running it. We ran it from California to Waxahachie, Texas in about two days and uh, it never stopped. We went to, uh, from California to cruising the coast in, in uh, Mississippi last year and we just have a great time. He always wanted a yellow and white square body truck. So Brian Vowell took this 77 truck and transformed it into his dream truck. You know, this is a, a one of a couple that I have, but uh, actually Jeremy at uh, Trey 5 Customs in uh, Glendale, he built this truck for me. I, I bought this truck from uh, Tino in California, uh, Tino Max Built Customs, as a uh, stock patina truck. I had it for a while. I really liked the truck. I always wanted a, a yellow and white square body, but when we first built it, we left it patina because it was just a, you know, we liked the truck the way it looked, got it done and I just love the truck so I had Tino at Max Built paint it the yellow and white and put the full two-tone trim on it and all the new all the new trim on it and it turned out just just awesome it's uh, got full porter built suspension on it front and rear AccuAir um, it's got the 5.3 in it uh, 4L65 trans all TMI interior um, just vintage air it's just a it's a great cruising truck we've taken it to uh, Pomona a couple times and uh, just the truck's just a blast to drive I've got a 5.3 in it uh, with a 4L65 trans. Uh, it's a stock pullout, but uh, it's uh, got 373 uh, posi gears in the back, a 373 locker, and uh, it, it scoots right. It scoots right on down the road. At first, Nick Touye planned on making this 1972 Chevy a golf truck, but then got a phone call that changed his mind. My great grandfather worked for Esso in Baton Rouge, uh, which is now Exxon Mobil and he retired in 1972. So 72 was a year that Exxon went from SO to Exxon. And I just so happened to have a 72 C10. And this was actually gonna be a golf truck. I was gonna do the big golf logo. And I got a phone call the day we got the stencil made for the logo and they're like, hey, uh, we want you to come work for Exxon Mobil. I was like, awesome. So I got hired on Exxon Mobil and Talked to my buddy, he's like, hey, I can't do a golf truck now. I said, I can't show up to Exxon with a golf truck. So, and I was like, let's do SO. So, print out the SO logo and put it on the truck. And, you know, start talking to people in the family, like, you know, you know, this is kind of going back to with your great grandfather. And I was like, wow. So, 1972 is the year he retired, the last year of SO. Then they switched to Exxon and the truck's a 72, so they just kind of all fell into place. No real planning. I bought the truck, came out of Columbia, Mississippi. Got it from a guy, seen it on Craigslist. It was all stock height and everything, stock wheels. Uh, already had the motor and transmission built in it. So I had it, I built the frame for it, did my own custom uh, triangulated four link myself. My first time really, didn't even own a welder, didn't, own, didn't even own a, big air compressor so I had to buy all that stuff and 
teach myself how to weld, learn from a lot of real good friends. You know, taught me ticks and tips and tricks what to do. Uh, so did it all myself and actually had the frame sitting in the backyard for probably about four years. Like I lost interest. A lot of hard work, sweat, plenty of cuts and bruises, probably some tears too. We'll be right back with more amazing cars on the Low Car Car Show, presented by Original Parts Group. The Low Car Car Show, presented by Original Parts Group, is brought to you by Heart of Appalachia. Virginia is for lovers. Original Parts Group, world-class restoration parts, brothers truck parts, your number one source for 1947 to 87 Chevy and GM truck restoration. Low Car, quality, plain and simple. Owning a paint and body shop in Louisiana allows Anthony Thibodeau to complete some cool projects, just like his 71 Chevrolet Suburban. I have a shop in Sulphur, Louisiana. The name's Pro Paint and Auto Accessories. We paint there, we do uh, collision work, and we do hot rods also. Uh, we've done everything but the interior. The interior was done by Hicks Designs out of Oklahoma. Uh, the, the paint, the, the framework, uh, the engine, all the drivetrain, we did ourselves at, at Pro Paint. It, uh, it turns a lot of heads and, and it does really well at the shows. So. This Chevy carryall started out as a rat rod and was completely rebuilt from the frame up. It made its debut at the 2014 SEMA show. The truck came out of Louisiana. It was um, it was basically a rat rod when we started, and um, I went ahead and purchased it out of Louisiana. And at the time, I was living in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, we brought it up to St. Louis to uh, Griffin Racecraft in St. Louis, and uh, started from the frame up. Built a full tube chassis for it, uh, Mustang two front suspension, full air ride. Uh, we chopped the top six inches. We lengthened it with uh, long bed bedsides. Um, full custom paint by Springles Automotive in uh, Illinois, and um, we were actually debuting it for SEMA 2014 in the Exalta booth. Exalta actually sponsored it for SEMA. So paints uh, Exalta, it's flat on flat, flames are flat, base is flat, it's a galaxy gray off of a Harley Davidson. Um, everything's buried so it's, it, you can't feel a thing on it. Um, pure white on top, and we, did, we went with the farmer's look on it. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's very, it's awesome to look at, but it's kind of hard to take care of um, with being flat because you can't rub it. You basically have to clean it with glass cleaner. And uh, so, it, but yeah, it's a, it's a great truck. It does a it does a great job on the show scene, and um, we enjoy it. It's got a full chassis on it. It's stock floor body. Uh, it's got full air ride suspension with an E-level um, air ride kit on it, and it's buried on the ground. It lays body. When Greg Allison found out they were making room for him at C10s in the park, he got busy adding some comfort items to his truck. I'm uh, just drawn to trucks, it's in my blood. I, I love trucks and so I was looking, always looking. I found this up in the high desert, uh, Hesperia, California. A man uh, got a shop, put LS in it, Vortec, and uh, I like orange. So that's one of my favorite truck colors. So I uh, went up there and uh, made a deal with him, picked it up, cash money, and he liked that. This is a 5.3 Vortec, uh, the 4L60E transmission. Uh, probably makes about 330 horsepower. It's out of a 2006 GMC Sierra truck. So the engine's probably got about 120,000 miles on it, but it runs good and uh, very dependable. And when you turn the key, it starts. And uh, we've got drop spindles, two and a half inch drop spindles on the front, lowering coils on the back. So it's got a nice stance, sits nice. And for the trip, we put on front and rear sway bars by uh, Brothers, from Brothers Trucks. So it handles nice in the corners. So that made a real nice trip out here. We're gonna do the Triple Crown. I went to the Brothers Truck Show in June 24th. It was my first Brothers Truck Show. And uh, we went there and had a great time and I was really enjoying it. I heard about this Triple Crown thing. So I figured out, wow, the next one's in Waxhaxie, Texas. And I got online and I saw it was sold out. So I kind of got a little bummed out. And then I made a phone call or sent an email and Terry Hill from here, he called me up and Terry said, 
uh, you know what, I think we can get you in. I sent him a picture of my truck and he said, yeah, we'll press this button, pay now and 20 bucks. And I said, really, I'm in the show? And he said, yeah. So I, I was so excited. So ever since June, it got me in. I've been working on this thing, put the vintage AC in it so we can make the trip from California. The Bluetooth, hands-free mic, just motivated me to get the truck ready for this show to get it here. It's time for Low Car Lowdown with Jeffrey Walls. As we head into winter, whether you're doing an engine swap to something that takes an electronic input, or whether you already have an OEM style drive-by-wire assembly, we offer the only billet aluminum drive-by-wire control module assembly. This assembly is available in either a aluminum bright finish or an aluminum black anodized finish. Any of these pedals can be accessorized with the additional lower throttle arm and pad, pad assemblies. You can choose from any of the designs that we have across the low car line. As well, if you're familiar with Clayton Machine Works brand, we will be offering those lower pedal assemblies as well. Check this out and some of our other items at lowcar.com and see us at some of the shows. Welcome back to the Low Car Car Show, presented by Original Parts Group. Hey guys, Steve and Jim from Brothers Truck Parts. We are out in Waxahachie, Texas at the C10s in the Park Show. And um, we're just enjoying ourselves like everyone else is. And we're going to take you around, show you a few things that we really like about this show and about the trucks and the people that are here as well. I don't know if you know this, but look, it takes a lot of work to get a truck this low. Like, look, I can't even put my hand past the edge of the rocker panel here, and that is not an easy thing to do. These guys are working their tail off. They're bringing the chassis up inside the body. They're working on all the suspension components to make the suspension drop further than it did from the factory. This is not an easy job, but it's an awesome look, and plenty of guys are doing it these days. And all I wanna know is how much you think this guy might have spent on this to get it that low because this thing is ridiculously low. So this is another cool thing about Texas and I know it's cliche to say everything's bigger in Texas but in California you can get to drive these on the street much less do you ever get to see them so I don't know how big these tires are but they're giant. I mean I'm I'm already a I'm six foot six and look at how short I look next to this thing. You know I'm really six six. It's a great truck awesome looking. I mean, I just love that these four buys get this big in Texas. So look, mild to wild, everything's out here. I'm not kidding around. This thing has flames painted over what looks like bare metal, but it's not. It's bare metal paint. And I'm telling you, if you want to see it, it's here. Mild paint jobs all the way down to wild paint jobs. And I'm telling you, this stuff, this took hours. This took weeks. This took tons of planning and they executed it perfectly. So this is another cool thing, like everybody comes up with trucks, but now they're getting old school camper shells to put on, which allows you to get to a show and be comfortable while you're here. So you got room for probably six, eight, 10 people inside there, probably a full kitchen, bathroom, shower, whatever you need. And you can see that they've got enough room inside that they've actually made a campsite behind it. They've got a barbecue going on, the whole family. So this is, this is cool. Oh, here's what I find cool about this truck. Look, classic look. He's not disrupting it too much, but a lot of modern technology and modern influence in the look of this truck. These giant wheels that look vintage, but they're giant, so you can tell they're modern. Also, when I was a kid, all I wanted was a tr car, truck, anything that had a blown motor. Guess what? Blown LS. So you can never go wrong with a blown motor. Some other things I noticed about this truck was, it's got some gauges in here that look very stock. They're analog movement, they got analog look to them, but they're very modern gauges. So I like how this truck blends classic style with modern style to make a package that is really, really outstanding. And by the way, the execution of that style on this truck is top notch. Here's the thing guys. Baby blue, classic color, it's been around for years and it'll keep living on for years. Just like the feeling that you get when you come to a classic car truck show on the weekend, you bring your family, you bring your grill, you spend the time, you have a great day, 
any weekend across the U.S., you can find a show like this and enjoy yourself. And I'm telling you, there isn't a better way to spend your weekend than at a classic car or truck show in the United States. Original Parts Group Incorporated, Restoration Tip. Here at Original Parts Group, we're dedicated to helping you throughout every phase of your restoration project. Uh, when you do finally get completed with your project, the most important thing is to protect your investment. So we've got a full line of car covers uh, for both indoor and outdoor use. Uh, this particular cover here is an outdoor cover. It's a four layer cover, it's water resistant. It's designed for excellent breathability, uh, impact resistance, and will be a good overall protective layer for your investment. Uh, the cover comes complete uh, with a storage bag, a locking cable and string to tighten everything up, a grommet for the antenna, as well as a lock with two keys. Uh, again, we have these for both indoor and outdoor applications, depending on where you store your vehicle. You can see these on Original Parts Group website in one of our catalogs, or you can call one of our sales representatives and they'll help get you the exact cover that you need. We'll be right back with more amazing cars on the Low Car Car Show, presented by Original Parts Group. The Low Car Car Show, presented by Original Parts Group, has been brought to you by Rod and Supply. We don't just sell them, we race them. H&M Saw, the saw that cuts straight. McKee's 37, complete auto and RV care. Advertising Edge, the official uniform of the NHRA. We didn't run when Bobby Estrada bought it. And he says it takes a lot to keep it running, but he's always driving it. So it started about uh, 15 years ago. We've had the truck for 15 years. We bought it, it wasn't running. Um, it took a lot to get it on the road. And once we got it on the road, we just kept on working on it until, uh, until we got it where, it at, where it's at today. Um, we still work on it. I teach these boys every single day on how to maintain the truck because it's not. it still has a, uh, a small block uh, Chevy uh, engine in it and uh, it takes a lot to keep it running. A lot of love um, to keep it on the road, but we don't ever let it sit on the side of the road or sit in the parking lot. We're always driving it. It's a solid driver. As a matter of fact, um, for all the different duty stations I've been stationed from, I've driven this truck from California to Colorado three different times to Fort Carson. I drove it from Fort Carson to Fort, uh, Fort uh, Bliss, Texas. From Fort Bliss, Texas, we drove out to Fort Campbell, Kentucky, Fort Campbell, Kentucky. We drove it out here to Fort Hood. And then uh, in November, we're gonna get ready to drive it back to California. Um, so it's a very solid truck, um, especially driving through Arizona in the hot, hot weather. It's about 115 the last time I drove through Arizona and we were solid. This truck holds some special memories for Chad Shetsky and his wife. They purchased it from her father after driving it on their wedding day. Uh, we actually bought it from my wife's father. Uh, we drove it in the wedding. Uh, her dad dropped her off before we got married in that truck. So he was talking about selling it. We actually picked it up. Uh, it was pretty much stock whenever he had it and changed it a little bit, put the 22s and did a four and a half, seven drop on it. Just the wheels, tires dropped and been driving it ever since then. Good ride so far. Yeah, we wanted to kind of keep a, a little bit of a vintage look. So we went with the transport wheels and had them powder coated and uh, put the factory center caps back on there from uh, some previous wheels that we had. This show's great. Uh, first year out here, uh, some of my buddies was telling me about it and we came out and it's been a great turnout. Real surprise. This owner grew up pulling drag bike trailers with this dually truck. Now he's pulling into the truck show scene with just his dually. I had a later or earlier model dually before and it was something I had just decided didn't see many and I wanted to do one. Uh, so about, about 10 years ago, I bought it and it took me about four years to build and that's what I ended up with. When I was younger, I was big into drag bike racing and it was just a truck that we used to pull our trailers with and I thought it would just be a cool show truck to have. We're gonna redo it completely frame up, new chassis, uh, new paint, new mods, new everything. You won't recognize it anymore. 
This week's winner of the Low Car Car Show's Pick of the Show Award, presented by McKees 37, goes to Ruben Meza and his old school to new school childhood dream truck, a 1949 Chevy 3100. Well, that was a dream since I was a kid, and I've been building it for the last six years. Took it apart three, four times until I came to what it is now. Put an LS, an LS uh, 6.2 with the cam. It's sitting on an S10 chassis with billet specialties. They call the, the model is 88 Boulevards. I bought it from California. I'm originally from California. I've been knowing that truck since I was a kid. Belong to my neighbor. After he passed, their kids offer if I wanted to buy it, so I've been owning it for the last five years. I'm the, I'm the second owner. And I brought it from California to Texas. And I've been playing it with it until what it is now. A little different, I'm glad that I was able to, you know, bring the old school to the new school and like just about every generation. You know, I, I felt like I, at the end of the day, I did uh, something right, which, you know, I get a lot of compliments from different ages, you know, older crowd, newer crowd. And so, this season of the Low Car Car Show, presented by OPGI, comes to an end. If you missed any of our episodes, go to PowerscopeProductions.com, where you can see every show and check out all the action. See you next season on the Low Car Car Show.